Meow and welcome to Pansy Plays Morrowind. I'm Matty the Black Panther Kitty and I'll be the host for this episode. We stand here next to this pile of naked corpses um, because they attacked us. So let's press on into the depths of this ancient ruin. It looks like this wall will open from the shadow but this could also be just be a render issue. Let's see, I'm curious if there is someone, it does not look like there is someone here. But we're going to keep right. And there's our next victim. What does he do? Is this poison? This is poison. That was found stuff, I think, or something like that. Nope, that's a magical one. My, um, soul trap. Oh, soul trap. Interesting. Interesting. Soul trap and absorb health. Oh yeah, he, he's absorbing health. He's absorbing a lot of health. This is this is actually dangerous. Um, he's not the only enemy. Ah, uh, yes, a bone walker. Luckily, luckily the strength damage did not occur. So I have this stuff. Sadly, I can't use it because um, because I don't have plant weapons. Some bone walker. Okay, that's nice. Some ancestral ghost. That's also nice. Yeah, that's the. Those are some nice trinkets that you have here. Not gonna lie. I'm going to keep right. So what did he guard? Another armorous hammer. Let's just use it to learn some more repair skill. And an old memor book, which is um, well, we have that one already. A cube, and some scrap metal. In the keg, there's more scrap metal. Even more scrap metal. That was a Dwemer shield, I think, there, back there. That was stupid because. That was very stupid because we didn't have any magicka. And I used the wrong button. Restore health. No. Oh. Paralyzed us. And it fails. I did not know that enemies can fail, actually fail. I actually wanted to do this. Yeah, he's paralyzed all right. So the paralyzation on our blade is awesome. But that's also not the person we're looking for. That's also a staff, sort of fatigue. Corpse preparation. Silver dagger, human heart. Soul, a soul gem with a skeleton inside, which is awesome, which means we can try, I mean the chances are very low, our enchantment skill is just 22, and we should train this, there is, there is a hole here where 
I think these spiders go come can come through from the size. Um, that's also what I wanted to say. I think he trapped these spiders in the walls to make this sound because they make this clicky clonkety sound. Clickety clockety. And I guess if they're blocked, they will glitch and it will just make the start of the clink of the clinkety clonkety sound, which is what we're hearing right now. Okay, I think we should. It's, it's hard. But we should go back maybe and fortify skill armor. And now we're over in cover. I'm still going to use the repair prongs and just uh, repair the stuff. Because it does two things. First of all, it repairs things, and second, it teaches us skill. And, and I'm just going to six points. I'm just going to so weight of 2.4, weight of 5. Basically, we're yeah, just going to drop one of the scrap metal and then head back. Yep, that's the downside of of spelunking. You walk as I already mentioned, you walk back and forth a lot. And of course I had last week at the end I had um, announced that I'm going to fetch something to drink. Of course I forgot. So if you don't have something to drink, you don't need to play, you can just pause the video. I need to continue playing. So you can go and fetch something to drink and have a drink on me. Yes, stranger? Yes, exactly. Yes, stranger. Yeah, that's basically it because I want to I want to keep these stuffs. They 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 actually sound very nice. Stuffs, staves. What's what's the plural of stuff? I know it's 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 spelled S T A V E S, but I don't know how it's pronounced correctly. Or is there even um, like multiple ways in pronouncing it that are considered correct? Whoops, that might have been the yes. That's the engraved ring. That's the common ring. Well, let me keep. Well, I can always buy a new ring, honestly. And. This and this. I know it's not much. Let me just let me just try. So we do have the we do have the. Let me try it with a cheap wow. ring first. For example, this one. This, this this also has a name. Maybe this makes it not work. Might be. Maybe Othril is um, make an enchantment item. So I want to use this ring. It has one enchantment. And I want to have Mark on it, which takes 26 enchantment points. OK, so this ring does not work. Let's see how much enchantment a common ring has. It's got lots of enchanted rings. That's this one. And I'm pretty sure that the enchantment will just fail, but still, I want to see. This is also just, oh, that's, that's the special ring. Also one, okay, now let me see. I'm curious. This is a common ring. Now let me see an expensive ring. Or maybe rings just have a little. All of them are enchanted. All of the rings that are here are already enchanted. But I want the glass pauldrons to be enchanted with some kind of Spell that keeps me safe <laughs> with a constant effect. So many amulets. Come on. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to try now. I'm going to just dump stuff with Caius Casades. <laughs> oh my throat is so dry. I'm really going to look forward to head upstairs and drink something. So I don't I don't feel thirsty, my but my throat is dry from talking. So next time I need to ensure that there is more Sweet drink here. So hey Kaios, I just need to drop more things here. For example, this stuff. And don't you dare touching them. These are mine. Oh, look at all these stuffs. Staves, aren't they awesome? And I also have well, another old Dwemer book. I'm just going to put there. And then I can try doing things. Lots of expensive ingredients. Uh, sound, fortify, magicka. And nothing, nothing of immediate interest. I'm just going to sell the stuff for now. Uh, that's sad. I will listen out that way. And here I was just wanting to actually take on the next quest from Caius Casares, and here I am um, exploring the Dwarven Ruin, which honestly is way more fun than just rushing the game. Say what you want. Let me see if he has enough money left. Uh, see, he's, he's fully stuck with money now. What does the human heart have? Sound, fortify, attack, and reflect. Ah, okay. Oh, that was wrong. There. That's better. Okay, so now we can just... Recall. There, the scrap metal. There, the save game. I like how it's kind of weird how the sound was. Okay, so this is this is the room that we that we started in. Can I? Yes, I can rest until you. That's awesome. That means that there is no enemy close. So we went here, down here, and. We arrived back here, so now I can go again and check if there were junctions to the left, which we left out. Yes, we did. This area here was completely left out. So, just as I had assumed, some money of the dwarves, a greater soul gem, meat. Small chest with an exquisite. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to keep those for enchanting. Nordic first. So there is someone. Okay, yeah, that's the someone. Definitely. That is the someone. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Silver dagger. I can't take the human flesh off of the corpse. So in reality this will be super disgusting. I mean, you can even you can even eat that. That will be super disgusting, but I do know that um cannibal I think in every game they had the, the cannibalist tribe. Oh, the eyeball even is an item. Wow. That's dark. Honestly, I mean, I'm the one collecting them, yes, but it's basically, to me, it's just 
it's just an item. The item has some name. It's it doesn't feel like actually taking human flesh, to be honest. It's just some item which I'm going to say, sell. And no one's going to be bothered in this world. So in, in world, it seems like this is not a problem. Okay, so now I'm, yeah, I'm over my, I'm over my influence again. So there was, I think I took a repair prong. Didn't I? No repair hammer. Nice. So this weighs four, this is too much. So let me just put a scrap metal here. And again, the same thing to do is... Or again, the thing to do is... The holy trinity of selling stuff. Mark. Elm Seed Intervention Recall. And I think the reason why we're faster when we jump is because we're so slow when we don't Same. jump. So, yeah, that, that sounds weird, but but hear me out. Uh, we're slower because we have more in our inventory. And when we jump, this gets ignored, I guess. Or not, I guess, but that's my guess. Um, yeah, I'm making it sound more complicated than it has to be. Yes. Yes. See, he says yes. Do you want something? No, just sell stuff. As usual, when you see me. So these I'm going to keep. This is the engraved ring. This is an extra ring. ring. This is a common amulet. Okay. I'm going to keep this. Human heart actually is also pretty valuable, it seems as compared to, to other things. Uh, 127, uh, there is a book, some ring things, but they are not that heavy. I think I'm missing one item. Yes, the mug. And there they are, torches. Oh, okay. No, oh, the amulet isn't worth anything. Uh, the human heart is, yes, it's worth 100. So let's head to the next person to sell things. So I, I would wish for another, um, to find another diary for more lore, actually. Because that was quite nice to have the, the diary and then see what has happened there. No, we're still faster when jumping. We're still faster than when jumping. Only slightly, but still faster. So this is while being near this be a fast way of traveling. Okay, so um, here we are. Well, do we have more of these staffs? No. But we do have valuables for I'm, I'm going to put them. This is going to be a big pile. I'm going to put them here. Exquisite amulet. Oh, this looks very nice. Shining ring. Which is dark. It's rendered black. Well, I guess this is a yeah. This is a light lighting calculation issue, and I think that's it. I mean, I could use them. Okay. And a recall. Right bracer. That there is love magma here. Magma lava. I always mix the two up. Well, this is this is 
This is it. This is exactly what makes that sound. And it just runs super fast. As I, as I thought, it is one of these spider things. So I, I dropped the quick save. Advanced Centurion Spider. It does not attack me though, and it does not look so advanced to be honest. I think this one should not be here. I'm curious what happens if I attack it, to be honest. So I'm just going to do it is pretty instantly dead dead. So these are weak. Good to know. So we're we'll checking again on the left hand side if we missed something. So this is where I said they might come out here. Yes, we did not go here. And we can't go there. Okay. I think we're now... Are we heading in the wrong direction? Kinda. Sorta? No. This again is a ruby I've not yet been in. And there is more things to take. Trap him. I think because the uh, animation came. Have I trapped the soul? No, I didn't get a message that I trapped the soul. And I should have because I have the. Uh, let's see, I do have too much in my inventory. So I'm going to drop its. And again, I know it's it's not that. It's not that super exciting. Ah, quiet. It's not that super exciting, but it's a good way to earn lots of money. It's basically grinding money in Morrowind. And that's what I always did in the game, grind the, the dwarf, completely, completely empty the dwarf ruins. So we have this, and we have this hammer, 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 two hammers. And I think that's all he will take. What can I do? There's someone watching me, I can tell. Then we have this place. I think he always he also took everything, right? Yeah. He also took everything, which is nice, and there is more coins here. One hundred, two hundred. These three go. And see, now we're back Greetings at 105. And drop a safe, and we should take 105. We can take 250, so that is 205. I can't take this one, but I can take this. And I should also be able to go like that. I thought I would be able to take this as well. This is 10 too much. Okay. Well, then. With these worn items, this is really fast. I think 
In later games, you can even smelt the dwarven items to get the ingots. Or, or that was a mod for Morrowind where you could smelt the dwarven cogs and then make a dwarven armor out of them. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking right now. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, let us just sell that, which also takes a lot of weight from us. Yes. And then go to the other guy and sell the rest. It's not me. Okay, there. There. Two items. Nearly all of our weight. Okay, we can't recall, so we need to head to the major Guild. Say what you want or go away. So I guess the idea is that with the jumping that you, that you actually are faster than jumping forward. Because the idea is if you jump forward, this is faster than walking. Uh, but then you should not be able to jump if your uh, fatigue How is low. And this is actually something that has been added to other games. So the bunny hopping was a big problem in first person shooters um, at the time of, of, of half the first Half-Life. This was a strategy to not get hit because you moved so fast. It was really, really hard, nearly impossible to actually hit you. slow again because we just took everything and let's see this guy we already picked clean hmm. feels like we're through let me run through once once again just to make sure Yeah, it seems like where this is this is where we came from and to do one last run through just to make sure we did not miss anything and then I'm going through this passage that we just saw so here are the three guys use this and I think as I said I think what happens is that this small spider can just follow us on the other side of the wall. They can just follow us through the other side of the wall. And they I, I guess I guess seeing them here is actually a glitch. It should not and maybe maybe it is meant that they are able to go through here. Again, this down here I could not open. No, can't interact with this. Coming back, going back down, turning around. We have this specter here. This is where we just have been. This huge cog you can't take. This is what we already picked clean. This is another exit for these spiders. Either they're meant to patrol, or I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so we went we went through once completely. I'm now for the last time going to sell stuff. Yeah, moshi moshi, and that's what, what it sounded like to me. And then when we're done selling, I'm going to stand in front of the door, which will remind me for the next recording what to do. And then I'm going to end this recording session. So yes, I know this was not the most interesting, or maybe not the most... Um, see, now I'm missing the English word, actually. Um, exciting episode. 
but it's also part of the game. So, and I mean, people, you know, I'm still, even though I've made so many episodes of things, I'm still kind of learning how to do this. Um, I really look up to all these Let's Players who talk anything about anything while playing and I don't have an idea what to talk about. I'm just talking about the game mostly. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure I will get better over time. It's just, just a thing. And if you're interested in the game, then I'm pretty sure that you won't mind that because you will just be happy watching Morrowind. That said, we will see each other in the next... No, I, that was wrong. That said, I need to recall first, because else I won't know what to do. And stand right here, right facing this door, so I know that I want to enter it. And facing this door, we will end this episode and we'll see each other next week on Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye.